The changes incorporated by the FAA appear to move Boeing closer to getting the plane back into the air, at least here in the United States. It involves revisions from the Flight Standardization Board report and talks about how last month the FAA evaluated the modified MCAS system for training purposes based on Boeing's fix to the new flight feature on the 737 MAX. Remember, it's believed the failure of the MCAS that's involved in two crashes last fall in Indonesia and then on March 10th in Ethiopia, which together resulted in 346 fatalities. The updates are approved by the Transport Aircraft Seattle branch, which is actually based in Des Moines. The updates to the 737 training include ground training in MCAS that describes the system for pilots, just what it does, and how it can fail, and how the pilots are alerted. The agency says it's still expecting Boeing to submit its final software package for certification in the coming weeks. In China, where airlines own a total of 97 737 MAXs, regulators say they have formed a task force to review design changes to the MAX. China was also the first country to ground the jet after the second accident in Ethiopia. China is also represented on a joint review panel managed by the FAA, which is also looking at the aircraft. Meanwhile, we expect that Boeing's own flight testing of the system changes will continue in the skies over western Washington. Back to you guys.